Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit, and we are continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer. This is known as the Daily Office Lecture, today for Thursday. Let's take a look at the lesson that's assigned from St. Luke's Gospel. We're on chapter number 20, beginning at the 27th verse. Then came to him certain of the Sadducees, which deny that there is a resurrection, and they asked him, saying, Master, Moses wrote unto us that if any man's brother die, having a wife, and he die without children, that his brother should take his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. There were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a wife and died without children, and the second took her to wife, and he died childless, and the third took her in like manner, the seven also, and they left no children and died. Last of all, the woman died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife of them is she? For seven had her to the wife. And Jesus answering said unto them, The children of this world marry and are given in marriage. But they which shall be accounted worthy to obtain that world and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. Neither can they die anymore, for they are equal unto the angels and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. Now the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush when he called the Lord the God of Abraham and the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. For he's not the God of the dead, but of the living, and all live unto him. And certain of the scribes answering said, Master, thou hast well said. And after that they durst not ask him any question. Okay, so right before this story, we have the Pharisees questioning Jesus. Uh, and, and so once he, uh, he has set aside the, the Pharisees, the Sadducees are going to take advantage of them, trying to come in for the kill as well. Uh, and, and, of course, the difference between the Pharisees and the Sadducees, you know, the, one, of the, one of the differences, the Pharisees do believe in the resurrection, and the Sadducees do not believe in the resurrection. They just believe, accept the first five books of the Bible as being authoritative. Uh, none, of the, none of the stories of the prophets, none of that sort of stuff. And so here they are, they're trying to trip them up with a hypothetical situation. This is like, you've heard these people who are really full of themselves and they say, if God is so powerful, could he himself make a rock that he himself can't move, right? It's, they're setting up this paradigm thinking they're so witty about it. Uh, and of course, I remember hearing a, a public preacher talk about when somebody asked him that question, tried to trip him up. He said, look, if I had the answer and it was satisfactory to you, would you repent and believe in the gospel? And the person said, no. And he said, well, okay, because I have news for you. I don't know. It's not in the Bible. And it, quite frankly, when it comes to salvation, your question is not that important. The question is the gift of eternal life. The same with the Sadducees here. They're trying to trip him up with a hypothetical situation about this man, all these seven guys marrying this woman. And quite frankly, eternal life is so much bigger and wonderful than we can even begin to imagine. Uh, and so even though our earthly minds are stuck in this idea of which wife will she be to these seven men, in heaven that stuff's not going to matter. Just being present with the living God is all the joy and pleasure and purpose we will need. And all these other things of earth pass away. Right? That's when we hear all these things about when I get to heaven, I hope that I'll be able to play golf every day. Or when I get to heaven, the, none of that stuff's going to matter when you are in the presence of God, the full, all-encompassing, overpowering love of God. None of that will matter. Amen, brother. Okay, so today is Thursday, and that being said, we have no public worship today at St. John's. I'm going to do a little traveling today. I'm taking my daughter uh, to do her orientation for college. So it's, it's as exciting as it is for the family. Uh, so there'll be no public worship here at St. John's, but let's be sure to say our prayers, right? I will pray for you, you pray for us here at St. John's Church, and may God give you a Thursday that is full of blessings.